over him as Angel picks another Demisic from above, dealing left. death. Seven seconds on the clock, a 2v5 retake, and Takis goes down in just the same manner. Poor old Hoppy left alone, baits them into some peaks, but Shadow, hello! A couple of seconds away, Roden on his way through ropes, wants to take aggressive control, and he gets himself one. But that is all, versus FPX, retaking ropes is always risky. And to be honest, that trade is not good. It gives a weapon upgraded to FPX and you lose one of your own. Remember, on these bonus rounds, we don't expect a lot from FPX. Uh, if they can take it close and grab themselves three kills, I think that's uh, pretty standard. Oh, nice flash. Great peak. Akuma falls off the edge to safety. But now he's under pressure. Angel out wide, caught off. But Zipan, good for the trade around the back of sight. This is what we love watching FPX for. This is exactly why they're one of the best teams. Watch them take fights. Left. Watch them in these hectic situations. They're always ready to trade off of each other. There's always two guys or one about to swing up behind you whenever you take that fight. And Takis tickled up in a solo duel, but it's a bait. They want these guys to swing out so the shots in the back from Zipan can land. 3-0, to zero. textbook by FPX. And an upset to death and not having a sage themselves they can't get any of their hp back takas though the rotational operator a player to fear for sure especially when it comes on to ladder maps like i think he's someone who can entry frag in incredible fashion he's got his first hit looks for the second but the ice wall would deny him there is still a player in the site, but there's a good opportunity for fbx to isolate this kill hoppy will take one but now it's on to rodan Demisic didn't clear it, but Angel always does. Roden with 16 HP, and he's been approached on, but Shadow is dropped straight away. They're looking for him. Another push forward, and that timing almost cost Shao his life. As they come on out, rushing into the hands of Angel, they quickly dispatch him. Shao now on 5 HP, the blast pack. More than enough to finish him off. And big round from Roden there with 16 health. And they have had to double back in towards what looks like a straight B hit. The problem is, again, Angel's going to do some work, and actually, the rest of the push now begins barreling forward looking for duels but logan awaits them right into his arms as he swings for more that fault line perfectly catching dimisic and leaving it all onto shadow logan with the 4k and the first of many to come i'm sure an insanely strong individual anyone anyways they're a little bit too far away the plan to come through nice and open this is dangerous now these guys can actually play this post plan uh from inside of B main if they want to, with Angel still having that mid control. As we said, it's a problem, not just for the setup, but for the retake. He could come in on a le very late flank now. They've got so many ultimates for this retake though. Diffuse are gonna invest an awful lot to try and deny this. The paint shells don't actually stop the lockdown either, so they have to leave. They have to negate the site. Now Demasic does manage to pick one up, but he's caught. And as he's isolated, now it comes down to the almost retake of their own site. Zipan will pick off one, but the remaining two players are a little bit further behind. It's the Diffuse already starting and they need to try and deny it. The spray comes through and Shadow, he's gonna find himself both. FPX managed to hold down the, that much control and because of that, the two players remaining on this B site are going to be in a fair amount of trouble. That push coming Spike through has already seen a couple of victims. And for FPX, they've invested again a lot into this one, but Diffuse certainly haven't. Logan's got the position in B main and he's going to wait out. He knows it's not time to make the push and sacrifice himself for the cause. Instead, he'll wait for his teammates who have those big guns to mount up this retake and then come in from behind. Here we go. Shut down, but he uses himself as bait. A selfless Logan, but he only gets one kill. There we go. Trade back to Shadow and Diffuse easily connected. I thought that could have been the clutch play from shadow with the hp of hoppy especially it comes down to a quickly hitch maybe a little bit of a lurk on the other side of the map and i think they're trying to deny the aggression of logan he's pushed into this spot now on b multiple times that's a fantastic fault line though already one man taken down and if they can get that far forward that that's an operator that it is secured and taken i have the spike oh potentially the one thing about this round, uh, they've stopped Angel going into ropes. At least there's an upside there. The movement from FPX towards B main comes to no surprise from Diffuse. The they've pushed all the way into A. They know that this side is a side of the site of the map. There we go. Is completely clear. And so these players just need to position themselves well. The flash ready for a peak to come through. Akuma 
Could be in a bit of trouble, though, if they decide to walk out. The turret is watching them, but now that it's being alerted, I'm surprised Akuma's still standing there. There's the peak. Zipan, good for a kill. Logan looking for a bit more. He's trapped down below and being pressured on all sides. He'll eventually fall, but enough damage done, surely. The spike down in the open as Shadow looks to push over and get it. He's being delayed because that flank from Hoppy, it's been going on for a minute. Oh, he even uses Rolling Thunder. He needs to win this clutch now. The investment he's made, he turns behind and catches Whoa. Hoppy ready for the flank. Moving closer, they won't suspect this. Great repositioning, oh. big brain, and big kills. Shadow gets six on the board for FPX. Range, it's, it's hit or miss, and I guess he missed. Yeah, they had their one sort of cheesy round with what was a weaker investment. They're going for another one here, Diffuse. The change of pace, though, from FBX. We've seen slow, methodical rounds all the way through. They finally pick it up, but there has been a pick back. And actually, Hoppy's found a second. This is getting close for comfort. It's left on to just shout to try and clutch this out. He's going to get hit by the blast back of Rodin. You have to have some pretty big balls to make a play like that when he's so close. But he'll get it through. That's now two thrifty <laughs> buy rounds that we've had one by Diffuse. Yeah, and what's going on with Roden and FPX round? They get an entry into the site. They have after plants. There weren't really ultimates used like a lockdown or anything to force them out. And now we're back to the Logan show. Two kills to deny them the pressure. Only pistol players left, Mitch. And wow, oh, are you a believer? I don't think so. Not in this one, surely. Now Xiao's going to prove me wrong, but that's going to close to a dot crosshair. Let's see what he's able to do. Out he goes, looking for one. Oh, he gets it as well. <laughs> Shadow with the Sheriff. Rez comes in. Heal as well for Shao. This has just gotten a whole lot scarier than you would have thought. But I'm looking at Roden, and I'm thinking, this guy's got a showstopper. If they come out of B, he wrecks them. But they're not, at least for now. They're starting to left. move to middle. They want to pincer heaven by the looks of things, because Shadow's still sitting on this B site. He's waiting for aggression. I'm waiting to punch in on this site together this could be the big mistake of the defensive side Roden gets blinded he's focused on main and the side swipe with a classic comes in weapon retrieved FPX on site I said I didn't believe and now it's a 3v1 with Takis an op in hand and he's looking to save oh my god how have FPX done this well, Yinsu, I would like you to clip that oh, and uh, call it evidence of Mitch Man's curse <laughs> because that that couldn't have been any more perfect. Do you believe? Man, he's not even popped his ult. He's just running for it. Here's the ult now. It's not even needed. Nade up into heaven. Hoppy takes him down from afar. The bookie range. Put a scope on that thing. Here we go. Two for him. Almost a third. Good damage done by Hoppy, but it only trade. Never mind. 3v2. Not equal numbers anymore. Nade in to do more damage and try to get a kill. Dimasic trying to pull it back. Logan falls from afar. Roden's still up close with two players low HP. These are the kind of fights he wins most of the time with a damn blast pack. Mataka supporting him from afar. He can feel comfortable to reposition, to move back and not be caught up close. That spike still stuck on the right side of A. Shadow step available and a smoke through to spawn. They are looking at the A site pretty fondly. And Dimasic in heaven right now. He's going to take a fight into two. Takas is ready, leaving Angel all by his lonesome. I love the reposition from Diffuse. Put yourself together, match up, and just make sure there's no individual duel to be had. And also completely switch up where you were initially spotted. Left. They could have just opted to hold onto the site instead. They move around. Yeah, and the current positions of the defense are not the best. There's a, a quick rotation coming in. Akuma is actually going to get stunned up, which will at least slow them down. A lot of this comes down to Zipan, however, and he's only going to manage to get one. So not a bad trade whatsoever. Bullets run out from Akuma, and the breach on breach actually ends with neither falling. And the time is ticking away. The spike dropped again. There's 10 seconds, Mitch, for them to try and turn this back. And it's all falling apart. They've got, they've got no time. I think it's all done. Logan has to kill both players, and they're nowhere near each other. And eventually, Shao will convert. It started off looking fairly good for Diffuse, but seeing the wall in these early rounds, there's not much you can do. Somehow, though, Hoppy gets a classic kill. He's not getting out of there. Zero percent chance. Zipan has him dead to rights in the corner and keeps the man advantage in their favor. Now, knowing that the A site is almost completely locked down, the only thing they have to worry about is ropes. So we see the defense opt to just try and retake the control. There's no chance for a split coming through. Look at the 
He can't possibly do this again. Three kills already. Left down to the one versus one. This man is on a mission. We've seen him do it in the previous series, and maybe we'll see it again, but 50 HP facing off against Xiao, first of all, but a judge in hand. Great position by Logan down below. Oh, he looks away at the wrong moment. Xiao, oh, he tries to knife him! Xiao, what are you doing? The disrespect, and it doesn't pay off. Angel's about to go in for a peek of heaven, question mark. There we go, and he's down. He's dead. Lost that player. And lost having control, but Zipan, oh, he's sneaky. He's so oh. sneaky. Cloak and dagger stuff up behind them. They had no idea. And with that, all the options point towards A. All roads lead to the A site, and Dimasic is shutting them down. 10 seconds. Ten seconds They've got to get this spike in, and he's challenged. That's it. Round over. It's done. It's, done. it's dusted, and Dimasic's even put a bow on it. Take what's useful. Yeah, it, it's never an easy task to get past Demasic, but I think Diffusely off. But we are going to see that showstopper. They got the orb earlier on, and how? <laughs> how has he managed to get away with that? Luckily, Akuma is there to pick up the pieces, but Zipan very nearly escaped. Yeah, you don't want to let that guy go off the leash. Angel up close, hello, and goodbye. Sweet dreams as Akuma is just putting them all to sleep. Diffused. Winning this round <laughs> clean as day. Roden, did he just spray two players through the smoke? Totally, you can get away with that. Oh my angel, I thought he was in for more than that. Shallow close knows they're coming, walled up. Slow down, he's spraying on into it, into the gap, but not able to connect the kill. Angel's here to support, though. Xiao doesn't care about smokes. He's still hitting headies all day long. Spamming smokes with a vandal as well. I mean, we're playing a risky game on this one after the amount of players they spotted, but it's paying off. Two-man advantage for FPX now, leading into the first minute of the half around. Yeah, that's like killing someone with a flare. Like, you, you don't mind them knowing that you're there already. We're going to see some repositioning here on Logan, starting that lurk into mid, but you're always going to see FPX continue to be proactive, and again, they're looking for a fight. Oh, oh, very proactive indeed. Down goes Angel to take one, and down he does not go, because he's got three under his belt as he tucks away. Spike obtained as well. Oh, my. Diffuse getting styled on in this round. Logan seeks ahead to take a shot, and they line up when it's in a position like that. And they can just take it out so easily. It's oh. such a low cost. Angel again finds that opening. Zipan's good to trade. Rolling Thunder coming through. It catches Zipan, so he's deleted. Man advantage no longer in play. Xiao on the back of the side. They know he's here. He's played here almost every round, but a kill, or sorry, a Rolling Thunder of their own takes down Takis. A quick kill, but they need a bit more, and Dimasix not up for the challenge. Hoppy in with. We'll have to rotate back around, and they're already in heaven. Oh, Dimasic left unchecked, not even deleted by that ultimate, and Roden eventually stopping the show. Flash from Zip, and they want to compete with this. They want to fight it in shadow through the boxes. They're taking all the kills. Up above, Akuma delivers death, but Logan, he's still alive, and that clutches all him. Diffuse do before Hoppy moves into heaven. They have no idea. What? Why would he have stuck it? Why would he have done that? That's what they're thinking, but it was so well planned. Diffuse move forward. They get controls. Zipan, good for only one kill, and FPX are in dire straits. They've invested. Dimasic, good for a double. A res comes in and a two-man advantage, but I want to look at Logan and no one else. This man is still alive right now. Akuma, whoa, what was what? that slick? Right onto his head. It's magnetic. Logan, the 1v3, and it's not happening. 11 to 11. They tie it up yet again. Defuro <laughs> disadvantage. Facing into FPX's map pick, which they've barely played. And we saw what they can do on Icebox, man. This is scary for Diffuse. Form of Valorant, they would have taken a risk and gone in for the all-in play. Angel, though, not your classic operator player, but pulling it out in situations. And this situation has gone flawlessly. He had a spare weapon as well, so he's baiting oh, them me. in. Roden falls to the in-game leader, and he's even going to escape the rolling thunder as well. This might just be the beginning of the end. Player coming behind Otakis, maybe a lifeline for them in this round. He's going to catch a side swipe and maybe a double. Xiao at least picks him up before going out. But Akuma and Logan, two of the biggest clutch players, running into shadow on the backside. He drops the spike. They're 
are rushing in. They're rotating. Logan flashed and dead. I'm on the Sage, man. The Battle Sage in true definition. And I hate spectating Hoppy because that crosshair, it's one of the ugliest I've ever seen. But you know what? He's able to hit some heads, but it's traded back into a three versus three. Shadow taking a decent amount of damage, but heals are possible. And I think, did they just connect? There we go. Yeah, so he's going to be back up close to 100, if not 100, actually, uh, off the back of that heal. 81. Okay, not too bad. Yeah, it's, it's nice he gets traded out by the other man with an ugly crosshair. It's like they're going <laughs> back and forth. Shadow likes a... Well, in Shadow's eyes, size does matter. Let's put it that way. But 50 seconds left on the clock. We are now going to see the attack have to start making their move. Now, they've got some mid control. They've already used the wall, so or didn't have it initially, so they can't actually have any way to try and section things off. And they're actually walking into a stack. There's two players ready and waiting. Takaz is more of the bait. The switch is still waiting around the corner, but he's just going to do it on his own. The weapons are a little bit worse. Akuma in the corner. He's in a bit of danger. Going to catch the first on an Angel Flash. Going to make it around, actually. So Zipan's blind, but still able to get the second. Healed back up. His teammate was behind a smoke, so there was no support. This is the Zipan show right now, and he is going to kill. As they look towards the B site, it's Takas. He's tucked in on the stairs and looking for a victim, and Zipan might just be the next on his list. He's almost completely isolated. Hoppy doesn't have a bad position to try and deny the cross, but they will expect this. They should expect this. And Zipan, well, he is going and killing pretty much all the way through this round. Demasic will put the final nail in the coffin. But all in all, this this is not awful. Like, sure, they, they would have wanted to get maybe a little bit more an extra kill, do some damage. But you have to bear in mind what was invested here. To do it. This is where most people go, oh! Oh, Logan, what a noob! <laughs> I thought, he thought he was gonna survive! No. A forward FBX have already managed to get! They are up in their grill as Takis sprays away and takes down Xiao. They're not ready for this many players to be here. Angel, look, he's in the back sight and they have no idea. They're still focused on the laneway, but Angel, well, he had made way. Now the spike's planted and he's in the back sight in the boathouse, ready to set sail and take this round to the high seas. Diffuse, they're going to take a while to get back into this one. Logan's on the rotate, clearing out mid, and as he finally makes his way into market, the clock is pretty low considering it's a 2v3 and they have zero info these players could be in b main they could be just about to flank them out there's so much they're lacking yet they're still gonna go forward i can't blame them but they've got to make a move fast and find a kill find a duel and it's not that kind of duel you want logan again in a clutch and it just won't go his way this time yeah, we've seen them in an operator. I know that Roden likes to try and operate through that mid connector. If, if he can do that, it could be fantastic. But this, really? He's just going to stick it. Oh my goodness, they've been pushing so much that they actually start to expect it. So Angel's just going to push straight into heaven. Oh! To clear out an oh, Kuma should have got that. Instead, Angel just nails the headshot in the last second. Hobby's trying to be a hero. But again, Angel pulls back one more. And with the res in play... The last two players, can they really do anything here? I mean, they've got double the opposition to come up against. So they've got to find two kills each, essentially. Roden and Takas, well, we know Takas is capable, but no jet, no operator in his hands. That's a bit of a nerf for him. Comes up towards the wall, look behind him. Good night, sweet dreams. Xiao is coming up through middle, ready to take him down, leaving Roden all by himself. They need to do it soon. Oh, that flash, perfect counter, but somehow... Angel ends up walking out of that in a better position. I mean, until he gets shot in the head by Roden, but he did so much damage to Hoppy. What? Roden keeps on going. Two kills. Middle shut down. Taken out of the hands of FPX. Yeah. Now, it wouldn't matter if they had a res or not, because Zipan fell, but they didn't. They are far away from it, having used it up. Just, uh, two rounds Takas ago. does. That's true. He does. And Roden's right beside him. Does he have a wall? No. All their ults. He doesn't have a wall. This is a risky res as he goes out wide and down she goes. Exactly this is tough. They now know there's a player close mid. He's going to be pushed in the open. He's going to be sprayed, but makes it away. He'll survive to fight another day or, well, to fight now probably. A 2v3, a perfectly winnable round with these pistols. And it's Logan, Sheriff in hand, pushing up. The first is free and two. Oh, but he can't get the third, leaving it into the battle of breach and Sova. Roden rotating into heaven. 30 seconds left. In a back and forth round, Tom. It's being tight. If Roden swings now, he's got this one done, and it looks like he's got the timing. Roden with three. Round done. Secured by the... 
What? Okay, that's the strangest push I've ever seen in my life. He's tried to flash him with his own head. Try to shoot him with it. We've already seen the Robin Hood play, but I don't even know what to call that. A Hadouken, I suppose. Either way, 4v3 emerges from that round that I pity any anybody trying to break down. A drone? I, I think it might have spotted them. Because the smoke faded just as it disappeared. Either way, whether you have the info or not, getting the kills. Out in the open shadow, Zipan. Getting the kill on the road and together. Wall goes down. That's not oh, stopping them from me. running out, but it is allowing the crossover to site. Rolling Thunder just to secure it. Now they can get the plant. Mount advantage for the attackers. That doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. They're not really worried about a flank push at this point. I think they know everybody's in front of them on sites, and that's a brave swing by Zipan one at a time. They're taking these fights. It's strange to see FBX play like this. Alt line catches off the... Oh my god. It catches Takus, but he still gets the kill, and Hoppy trades it. That, That's strange, Tom. I... I I don't remember the last time that I saw FPX play a 3v2 by just peeking one after another. A lot of these guys are weak and Angel makes it into the corner. He doesn't avoid the old Logan keeps on going. He's conscious. There's a player on the right. He knows it waits for the peak, but doesn't win the dual tack as quick to come back out and get a quick old double. Short control is his. Spike is dropped and here comes help from middle. There's Akuma's on his way. Dim is six, shut down, and Akuma still not spotted. About to take a peek, and that closes the round easily. Five to four different. They've been on fire, but... Hell, when you've got Logan to win out clutches, why not? 20 seconds remaining. Tag up. Roden's down. Now all they have to do is pressure down Takas. He's being solid. Con in play. Dodges Paranoia. Looks for the fight on range, but can't get it done. There's one. Not good for the second. They're ready to take the off. He committed to it. His teammate died, but he full committed. Angel gets a triple. Last player alive is Logan. A 1v2. Spike planted. Quick shot to Angel. Looks for more. Swings wide, but Chow takes him down. It's close to being another signature Logan clutch. That's the shock dart. Perfectly planned for that route. Really well done. Well, again, we're going to see the same push as something that has come through a fair few times, and this time actually works out. Catching out Dima 6, Shadow is still lurking around the edge of the dark cover. Does he expect it to be this close? No. And again, the man we've highlighted so many times is going to take control. Now, Angel is still here. It's been individual fights that I'm sure Logan is more than happy about, and he's already going to pick up his third. Finally, he is put down by the IGL, but it's too little too late. Back towards the A side he goes. They're watching for it. They've got it cordoned off and sealed. Here he comes as smoke dissipates, but Akuma's ready. It's going to be a speedy one rushing in towards the site, already overwhelming it, but Angel through the smoke. With the silencer, it's always beneficial. Shadow avoiding clicking through. Oh, it was so close. Roden on 10 HP. Could have been an easy kill. Kill. The upside here is Takus was taken down at random. The dice were roll rolled. Yeah, uh, the dice had been rolled and he unfortunately landed the wrong way for him. So no heal to bring Roden back up to full HP. That half or fault line actually gets him, so gets them a kill, but it's traded back with Roden low. Someone needs to step it up. We need a hero for our story. And it's not Akuma. It's not Roden. It has to be Logan. A 1v4 as he moves towards the site. The first is there, but they wisely double peek him. To close out the round and put it on the board for FPX. Seven to six. Closing the gap. And this means we're again looking at a very competitive half. That we will. Divisic. Oh, whoa, okay. There's one for him. A little bit more damage down to the ghost now. Up close. Wall is in play. They know that. And they want to look for the players coming around the side. But Logan got a double. He, okay, Angel. I'll raise you one on that one, he says. Seven to seven. But, I mean, it wasn't clear. That fault line. Oh, along with the tag. That's a death sentence for Tactus. But Logan Quinn. Oh, okay. Hello, Angel. Bit of a jump scare for him. But he still gets it done. Around the edge, he's been spotted moving to site. They know now that there's a player here they have to deal with. And Akuma does exactly that. Textbook Hoppy in the corner waiting inside the switch room. A zip and trades. Weapon to be retrieved. They can upgrade nice and easy onto a real rifle. A Vandal. But Zipan doesn't seem rushed into doing this. He's in a 1v2, so really, you're going to need it. Moves towards the alley. There it is. Position given away. Going to shift walk over to the right side. Time against him. 30 or so on the clock. He's got to get in there in the next 5. 25, I meant. I don't know where 5 came from. It's not that close. It's not ticking away that fast. Swinging out. Sees Logan. This is tough. He has no idea about Akuma up beside him. And those are the two big clutch players for this team. He's got a good amount of armor. 
and he's got a vandal. Is it worth saving? These questions running through his head. Finally find an answer. To kill oh, him. there's a nice kill for him. And the exit runs out of ammo. But hold on. Has he done it? No. Logan Smith down. No one can trade. No one can go out for that. Because, of course, that ultimate keeps them back. Now the side control is there. Man advantage for defuse. And they just need to slow this one down. Oh, that's what? nasty. Akuma with a double. And he's looking for more. Tearing the retake to shrap. What? Zipan's got a big game himself, 4K, and it makes it easy for Xiao to close it out. I, I was latched on the nation being garnered on the other side, but it's too little too late. The rotation isn't going to get there in time, and while this ends up as being Zipan in a tough spot once again. Yeah, that was nicely done with the Rolling Thunder. Angel rotates quickly using his ult, now looks for a kill, but there's already a player down below. It stops him from really getting near the side, and as he goes out, he's caught. Oh, that's so tough, but he still does serious damage. Shadow steps back across so he's not stuck out in the open. With Akuma on 30 HP, it's doable. They're going to look to go over and get this res, and they'll be able to do so very, very easily. The wall up above spotted as Angel moves into heaven. This is going to be a very direct retake. They want Shadow to find a kill. If he gets a frag on this, they can definitely win this. Logan dodges the flash for the most part. Caught down below. Hunter's Fury online, but it's not even needed. They're tearing them completely wow. asunder. Double digits for FBX on one of the cleanest retakes of the day. I one of the wall again going towards top or bottom mid, I should say. As Roden picks up the opening. Okay, solid stuff. This side is playing retake. Dimasix outside of the smoke, so this should be, in theory, a nice clean one. They've spotted a player in the wall bang is connected on the back of it. Good camera. Uh, patience, really. They waited until there was someone that they could cleanly take down. Logan spotted in the corner as well. This is somewhere that, especially when you still have a breach alive, you can cause that player a lot of heartache. This is an interesting Hunter's Fury coming through. I don't know if that's off the back of information, but Zipan, he just goes out and goes huge. Low HP on Roden, but Hoppy's doing the work. A three versus two. Wallbang's coming in. Roden, back sight, trying to buy as much time as he can, but Hoppy, that was such a good uh, fault line from Shadow. So well positioned. It catches him. That was the full HP player as well. And your teammate backs, but he backs off afterwards. The blind perfectly hitting him. Xiao attempting to slow the retake, but it's not going to happen. Zipan. Oh, here's Angel. Did he just try to jump shot? I swear he was in the air. If so, that's pretty ridiculous. As it's down to a 2v3. Op lost. Player down. Res possible if Zipan was alive. But he's not. For defuse, this should be a signed, sealed, and delivered round. Xiao sees the head. There's a quick kill. Two more to go. They know someone's over close to door. They'll focus on that angle. They see him above the wall, but it's not Sage. Sage is close. Takis has to win this for defuse to stay alive, and he does. All three go his way. You never know, man. Yo, two players on mid spotted. Angel goes out for the Medima Six here as well. The trades back and forth, yet to determine favor. Logan in trouble on low HP and a swing from Xiao. The res comes in and it's a bait because, oh, a double for Akuma. He takes out the res and the reviver as Xiao has it all to do. A chance to make up for that clutch, but oh, perfectly done. So well handled. That's going to have to play another day, another opponent and maybe not even make it there. They'll miss out on points that can potentially bring them all the way to the champions. Uh, to our, the champ it comes to pay dividends later on. Left. Nipan takes out Akuma. That's the A site secure now. They spot players crossing shadow they might actually think that backside is clear they're gonna clear it anyways but shadow good for the first we talked about him before and shouts here to help out oh they're falling like dominoes and it's done